and salt change the density of water. All we need for this experiment is sugar, salt, measuring spoon, three cups with 60 ml of water, mixing spoon, and it's coloring! Now let's get on to it. The first step is to put 10 grams of salt into one of the measuring cups. The next step is to put 10 grams of sugar into another cup. The next step is to mix it thoroughly. into the water but not the sugary or salty water guys you may not know this but food coloring has a slightly higher density than water so when we drop food coloring into water you see that it first dives down before dissolving in the water and the dissolving process is called diffusion Meaning that the food coloring spreads around the water. This is because food coloring is soluble in water. Guys, as you can see, the food coloring has completely dissolved in the water. The next step is to put three drops of food coloring into the sugary and salty water. Guys, in conclusion, we saw that the sugar and salt increase the density of the water and when we dropped food coloring, it didn't dissolve in the water. This is because food coloring is insoluble in sugary and salty water. Guys, one more thing. When we leave this for too long, the food coloring will eventually dissolve. Like our social media channels. Share and comment. Subscribe if you want more. Remember, this is the Kids Quarter. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.